Hello and welcome to Tutorial CU. My name is Yannick and in this video we are going to discover the dependency injection in Angular. I just set up a brand new Angular application. So this is what it looks like. I'm using Visual Studio right here and on the left side you can see my Angular folder and inside here we for sure have the source folder, app and all of the app component, HTML, TypeScript file and so on. If you are fairly new to Angular, definitely make sure to check out our two hour long Angular beginner course for the latest Angular version right now. You can see that popping up at the info card right now. So watch that video if you are searching for a professional Angular beginner course. Before we start to discover how to use the dependency injection, let's discover why. In the end, you want to keep your functionality, your real business functionality, inside of separated services so that many components your angular building blocks right can use this shared functionality so what we do now is first of all we will create a service here i just opened up a new terminal and run ngsurf to start the angular application i will now open up a new terminal and just create a new service you can simply write down ng generate service and then the name of the service you want to create we want to call it test for now you can see that we now have two new files test service spec.ts and test service.ts let's open up our app folder here and then go to test service.ts well you can see that it is now well available here export class test service right and you can see that we got an add injectable decorator here Let's provide some simple functionality for that test service. So let's create a new method. Let's simply call it hello world. So hello world. We have no parameter here, so we could define something, but we don't want to do that. Return type is void and we simply console.log hello world. So there we go. If you want to learn more about those Angular basics like creating methods and all of that, make sure to check out our two hour long Angular beginner tutorial. Oh, and if you want to see more of that nice Angular content, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, turn on the bell to get notified once we upload new amazing Angular tutorials. Awesome, let's save it like this. Now, what we want to do is inside of our HTML, right? Our app component.html, which is a component for sure. We really want to go ahead and call that hello world method. And in fact, any other component could do that too, because this one here is injectable. So how can we use the dependency injection to take that service and let Angular create an instance which gets provided in the registry? So what we want to do for this is we want to switch over to the component which wants to use the service. So we want to go to the app component.ts. It could be any other component too. Now app component.ts, you can see that we got the class right here. What we want to do is we want to create a constructor. So create a constructor at the parentheses and the curly braces. And now first of all, scroll up and import your service here. So let's import our test service. There we go from dot slash test dot service. Now we got that imported. Inside of the constructor, we can now create a private test service of data type test service. Now, what will happen here is that the Angular injector will see that we now request an instance of the test service. So the injector checks in the end, do I already have an instance of the test service? If yes, it will get shared and will be provided inside of the constructor here. If we don't have one, so if there's no instance already of that test service, the injector will create a new one and share it with the Angular registry. However, in the end, here we will have a shared instance of the test service across our application. So this is the actual dependency injection part. Now, if we want to use that and really call the actual method of that test service, we want to go ahead and grab the moment when the component is completely loaded. For example, we could use the ng on init lifecycle hook. For that, go to the class, let's say implements on init. Now, if you scroll up, you can see that we now have imported the on init lifecycle hook from Angular Core. 
for sure, since we now implement that, we really have to use it here. So let's fold that out real quick. Simply write down ng on init. There we go. Now call the method from the test service, which we are getting provided from the dependency injection. Simply write down this dot test service dot hello world. Now let's take a look what happens if we save it like that. Go to the terminal and run ng surf. I already did that and you can see our application is compiling successfully. So as soon as we are at the application and I simply hit Ctrl F5 or simply F5 to restart the application, you can see that we got hello world written down here and it's coming from test service. So what happened is that when the application started, the injector discovered that we are requiring an instance of the test service. So the dependency injection created an instance and shared it with the component which requested the service. And that's it basically. So this is how you can make use of the dependency injection. If you wanna learn more about Angular, definitely go ahead and check out our two hour long Angular beginner tutorial, which is really covering all stuff in depth. If you liked that video, make sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe to our channel now to no longer miss any other Angular content. So thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video.